The confidence of astronomy enthusiasts in the capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope to capture spectacular images of outer space is now being exploited through pranks, one of which was recently perpetrated by none other than a scientist. The snapshot was revealed by Etienne Klein, a scientist and director of the Alternative Energies and Atomic Energy Commission of France. On July 31st, 2022, he shared an image on Twitter purporting to depict the star Proxima Centauri, which was captured using the Webb telescope. Photo of Proxima Centauri, the closest star to the sun, located 4.2 light years from us. She was taken by the JWST. This level of detail, a new world is revealed day after day, the scientist tweeted in French. You've probably seen the viral picture by now, a deep red globe hovering in the darkness of space, its surface delicately patterned with dazzling spots. Astronomy fans, apparently intrigued by the image, helped the post go viral, garnering over 21,000 likes, more than 2,800 comments, and over 3,800 retweets as of the time of making this video. Well, when it's time for the aperitif, cognitive biases seem to have a field day. Beware then of them. According to contemporary cosmology, no object belonging to Spanish charcuterie exists anywhere but on Earth, he wrote in a second tweet. According to contemporary cosmology, no object belonging to Spanish charcuterie exists anywhere but on Earth, Klein said after admitting it was a prank. The scientist made this statement because that is not a star. It is actually a sausage, specifically a cross-section of a comparably more modest piece of lip-sizzling Spanish sausage chorizo. Klein's Proxima Centauri was a hoax that had fooled thousands of people. Klein admitted that many users misunderstood his joke, which he claimed was intended to warn us to be wary of arguments from people in positions of authority, as well as spontaneous eloquence of certain images. However, several Twitter users said they were not amused by Klein, the head of research at France's Atomic Energy Commission and a producer of radio shows, at a time when combating fake news and misinformation is of utmost importance for the scientific community. He eventually offered a public apology for the misinformation and to those who were misled. I come to present my apologies to those who may have been shocked by my prank, which had nothing original about it, he said, labeling the post as a scientist joke. He was soon back on solid ground, tweeting an image of the iconic cartwheel galaxy captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. He reassured users that the image was authentic and not a creative food picture this time. So, why did the world fall so easily for this prank? It's hardly surprising that Klein's alleged JWST image drew the attention of such a large audience, given that the telescope has wowed the world with pictures of faraway galaxies dating back to the beginning of the time of the universe. His timing was perfect. The urge to spoof space-related amazement and the drive to marvel at each new image claiming to be a brand new glimpse of our cosmos was at an all-time high. The debut of the Webb Telescope's first pictures had just recently received weeks of publicity from NASA and other space organizations. All the hype among astronomers and scientists was about how amazing Webb would be and how it would photograph the universe in unparalleled detail. The initial set of web photos was widely publicized in July 2022, and the public was eager for more, prepared to retweet dazzling content in a setting where stunning space images are unlikely to be checked for authenticity. Furthermore, the image appeared to originate from a reliable source, a verified user with a blue tick, a research director at France's ostensibly important Alternative Energies and Atomic Energy Commission. As far as spreading false information goes, Klein's joke was harmless enough. It was also a really good joke. However, the space sausage, like most viral disinformation, succeeded in part because it touched on an aspect of truth. There's a reason so many of us believed it, and it has nothing to do with NASA's PR machine or the World Wide Web just being itself. The truth is, there are many things in space that kind of look like cured meats when photographed from a distance, and the James Webb Space Telescope will capture most of them for our eager eyes. Could the James Webb Telescope really get us pictures with such details? The James Webb Telescope is designed to investigate infrared light emitting from the farthest stars and galaxies that emerged immediately after the Big Bang. These targets, at a greater distance, will be seen as hazy red spheres in deeper cuts. They are a bit hazy because, well, 
we're peering back in time to over 13 billion years ago. Even JWST is unable to determine the complex architecture of most distant galaxies. And they'll be in red color since that's the hue astronomers use to tone the observations to indicate the stretched out quality of the inbound light's longer wavelengths. Yes, the multi-billion dollar telescope can photograph fairly close galaxies in spectacular, almost unbelievable clarity, with every pixel flashing. We're in for more views like the Carina Nebula's shimmering cliffs and the cartwheel galaxy's glossy spokes. However, we are about to get a lot more of red blobs. Red blobs that, with a little squinting of the eyes, could pass for a slice of chorizo. On December 25, 2021, NASA launched the $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope on a quest to discover the earliest stars and galaxies in our universe. And on the 12th of July, 2022, NASA revealed the first scientific shots from the new space telescope, the biggest and most powerful space observatory ever built by man, and fresh footage has continuously been released since then. So far, Webb's photos have captured a shocking supernova, the most distant star we've ever spotted, a breathtaking glimpse of the Cartwheel Galaxy, a whirling phantom galaxy, and the farthest glimpse of the universe ever seen. Little wonder the science community and astronomy lovers were super excited by the fake image claimed to be taken by the Webb telescope. Take for example the recent Webb picture, which astounded astronomers all over the world. Nothing about this blob can lead you to believe that this is a far off galaxy that humanity has never seen before, and what you are staring at is a cluster of stars as they looked barely 300 million years after the Big Bang when the universe came into being in a glorious, magnificent, and enigmatic instant. This red blob is rather significant despite its semblance to a blurry, squishy tomato. Oftentimes, describing something of astronomical significance demands starting small, using a language people are familiar with. For instance, many scientific writers have referred to inexplicable pictures of supermassive black holes as donuts since they kind of resemble donuts, and unlike incredibly sophisticated, mind-boggling astrophysics, donuts are quite easy to understand. Most people may mistake the web image of the hazy, distant galaxy for a tomato or a blurred-out slice of salami. All of this is meant to suggest that we had already witnessed other, highly authentic images of the space Teresa, and we have expressed our amazement at them in awe-dripped tones. Astronomers revealed this image, which was developed using observations from an Australian radio telescope, just a few days after the space Chorizo image went viral. This depicts the aftermath of a supernova, the smoldering remains of a star that exploded and burnt up sometime between 10,000 and 15,000 light years away. It resembles a meatball, don't you think? In some ways, our sun has looked like something you'd come across on a charcuterie platter. This is a composite image from the Solar Dynamics Observatory, a NASA spacecraft that studied the sun and was launched in 2010. Venus is the small black speck in the upper left corner. The hot planet is flying by in a rare cosmic alignment that will not recur until 2117. That's pretty insane, right? but it also seems to resemble a slab of pepperoni pizza. Many of JWST's targets will be tricky to confuse with deli meats. Webb will view the Proxima Centauri of Klein's prank as unmistakably star-like, bright and dazzling, the light diffracting into magnificent spikes. However, certain astronomical objects, especially faraway galaxies detected by Webb, would appear so red and round, so chorizo-like. Astronomers are fully aware of how fascinating their space images can be. I can see why people fell for it. We've been selling them these red tomatoes too. No? Said Rohan Nadu, an astronomer at Harvard who makes use of JWST to explore distant galaxies. Who knows? We will be much wiser if someone else tries to pull off a prank like this. So, what do you think about the fake space telescope image? And what do you think about the James Webb Space Telescope and its ability to send us incredible images about our universe's past? Please let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.